Hi, and so today we are going to study the concept of overall heat transfer coefficient. So we are going to solve this problem based upon the uh, convection, conduction and overall heat transfer coefficient. So here we have our question. Saturated steam at 267 degree Fahrenheit is flowing inside the steel pipe having internal radius 0.0341 feet and outer radius of 0.0436 feet. The pipe is insulated with 0.125 feet of insulation on the outside. The convective coefficient for the inside steam surface of the pipe is 1000 BTU per hour feet square degree Fahrenheit and the convective coefficient on the outer side of the lagging is 2 BTU per hour degree uh, feet square degree Fahrenheit. The mean thermal conductivity of the metal is 26 BTU per hour feet degree Fahrenheit and for the insulation it is 0.037 BTU per hour feet degree Fahrenheit and we are asked to calculate the heat loss for one feet of pipe using the resistances if the surrounding air is at 80 degree Fahrenheit and we are going to repeat this example by making the use of internal heat transfer coefficient so let's start our solution so let's draw the diagram so this is our pipe inside radius R1 which is equal to 0 0.0341 feet outside radius R2 which is equal to 0 0.0436 feet and as the thickness of insulation thickness of insulation is equal to 0 0.125 feet so our R3 will be equal to R2 plus 0 0.125 feet which is going to equal to 0 0.0436 plus 0 0.125 which is 0 0.1686 feet. So we know Q is equal to the inside temperature is 267 degree Fahrenheit minus 80 degree Fahrenheit the outside temperature upon 1 upon H, HI AI plus ln of R2 by R1 divided by 2 by LK1 plus ln of R3 by R2 divided by 2 by LK2 plus 1 upon HOAO. So first we'll calculate the resistances. So 1 upon HI AI is equal to 1 upon 1000 into 2 into pi into the inside radius is 0 0.0341 r and the length is 1 so we have 4.6696 into 10 power negative 3 and ln of r2 by r1 divided by 2 pi l k1 which will be equal to ln of 0 0.0436 divided by 0 0.0341 upon 2 into pi into L into the thermal conductivity of pi is 26 so this is gonna be 1.5051 into 10 power negative 3 and ln of R3 by R2 divided by 2 by LK2 which will be equal to 0.1686 divided by 0 0.0436 upon 2 into pi into L into the thermal conductivity of insulator is 0 0.037 so this will be 5.820 and we have 1 upon HOAO is equal to 1 divided by 2 into 2 into pi into outer radius is 0 0.1686 feet into L is 1 feet so we have 1 upon 2 into 2 into 3.14 multiplied by 0.1686 multiplied by 1 and we have 0 0.4722 so 
Q will be equal to 267 minus 80 divided by 4.6696 into 10 to the power negative 3 plus 1.5051 times 10 to the power negative 3 plus 5.820 plus 0.4722 and we have 29.69 BTU per hour so this is the answer to the first question now now we are going to repeat this problem by making the use of overall heat transfer coefficient based on inside area so we know that Q is equal to u a delta t so if it is internal heat transfer coefficient then we have to take internal area then we can equate these two equations sorry we can equate these two equations so we have ui ai is equal to 1 upon 1 divided by hi ai plus ln of r2 by r1 divided by 2 by lk1 plus ln of r3 by r2 divided by 2 by lk2 plus 1 upon hoao so what we are gonna do is here we have ui ai is equal to 1 upon 1 upon hi ai plus ln of r2 by r1 divided by 2 pi l k1 plus ln of r3 by r2 divided by 2 pi l k2 plus 1 upon hoao so this will be equal to 1 upon 1 upon hi into 2 pi ri l plus ln of r2 by r1 multiplied by r1 divided by 2 pi l k1 r1 plus ln of r3 by r2 divided by 2 pi l k2 multiplied by r1 divided by r1 plus 1 upon h0 ho multiplied by 2 pi l r3 multiplied by r1 and divide by r1 so what we are going to do is this ui ai so this will get modified into 1 divided by 1 upon hi plus ln of r2 by r1 into r1 divided by 2 by l r1 will get cancelled this will be k1 plus ln of r3 by r2 multiplied by r1 divided by 2 pi l r1 will cancel out and this will be k2 plus r1 upon this 2 pi l r1 will cancel and we have ho times r3 so ui will be equal to first we'll uh, calculate the denominator terms okay fine so 1 upon hi will gonna be 1 divided by 1000 will be 10 to the power negative 3 plus ln of r2 is 0 0.0436 divided by r1 is 0 0.0341 multiplied by r1 0 0.0341 divided by the thermal conductivity of pipe k1 which is 26 so this is 3.223 3 times 10 to the power negative 4 plus r3 is 0.1686 divided by r2 0 0.0436 times r1 is 0 0.0341 
divided by the thermal conductivity of insulator is 0 0.037 and here we have 1.2464 plus R1 is 0 0.0341 divided by HO is 2 times R3 is 0.1686 and this is 0 0.1011 so ui will be equal to 1 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 plus 3.223 times 10 to the power negative 4 plus 1.2464 plus 0 0.1011 so this is gonna be 0 0.741 BDU per hour feet square degree Fahrenheit but we want to calculate the Q that is the rate of heat transfer so Q is equal to U A delta T so we are going to take here I and we are going to take here I so which is equal to 0 0.741 BDU per hour feet square degree Fahrenheit times 2 into pi into the internal radius is, uh, is uh, 0 0.0341 feet the length is 1 feet 2 pi rl times the temperature 267 degree fahrenheit minus 80 degree fahrenheit so uh, Final answer will be 0 0.741 times 2 into 3.14 into 0 0.0341 into 1 into 267 minus 80. So the heat transfer rate will be 29.6738 BDU per hour feet square. No, uh, so, uh, sorry, this is the heat transfer rate, so it's, uh, it should be in BTU per hour. So our final answer is 29.6738 BTU per hour. So this was the whole information regarding how to calculate the overall heat transfer coefficient. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video.